Hello everyone, this is Enzo Eigen, the Alliance for Loki, and this is Season 2 War, and so Season 2 War is a big one. We're going against GT40, who's won probably about the last like 20 seasons, maybe more. Uh, so my first fight is this Path 4 um, Cosmic Ghost Rider. Apparently he's bugged here. Apparently he um, puts on a huge degen if he gets his judgments. I can't exactly, I wasn't exactly sure what the bug was, but I was told to go in here with Wiccan and sort of uh, test and see how Wiccan was. So Wiccan is a tactic uh, attacker as CGR is a tactic defender. And so, so I go in here, my instructions were basically to make sure you keep the neutralize on as much as possible and SB2. So I put on some big uh, mutant boost, or sorry, mystic boost. And yeah, that was my goal. Um, just keep on hitting him until, um, until he dies. <laughs> and so every time I par parry him, of course, I get a, uh, a, a prowess charge, which then nullifies his, um, his, um, what you call it? His, um, can't remember the word, the indestructible. And so, so here I am hitting him, just trying to build up a few prowesses there just to make sure I have it Launch a big special two. And that definitely does a lot of damage. And so he is at a special two, but of course, I'm getting so much power back from my boost that I'm already able to throw another one, and I do. And that is the end of this fight. And so, yeah, that fight went really well. Um, I'm not sure what happens if Wiccan is banned. <laughs> I guess uh, there's other counters. I heard Namor, that's who we thought, or I thought I was going to go in first. Manuel said maybe try Namor, but then they uh, had me go with Wiccan instead. And, yeah, Wiccan does the job quite well. So that was a good fight. Um, now we have Chioth. Uh, this is on um, another node. Path 4 is always like heal block, and so you can't really use recoils. I'm um, going in with Oakling. Um, thinking about Chioth, she has a very strong cleanse, and so she path, path, you know, clear, uh, what is it? Pacifies? No, uh, cleanses. It cleanses most debuffs. <laughs> so it's really hard to parry her, basically, because she just just um cleanses it and so my instructions basically are like bait out heavy and yeah just get to my special two and then launch that and then i have my my cosmic boosts on again and so yeah the goal is then to to do that get as much power as i can get to another special two and finish the fight and so so yeah i'm all set for this fight I haven't really fought too, too much i know I'm, both her specials you can just sort of get out of range to Dex. Um, yeah, I probably should have read up a little more about her, but I put on Power Start 1 just to get that special 2 quickly, and here we go. I mean, basically, don't get hit and then get unblockable. So at the beginning of the fight, she, of course, doesn't want to throw her heavy, which makes me very nervous. I hit her a couple times just to, just to get some pierces on. Why not? <laughs> and then I don't know what I'm doing here. I guess I'm just trying to get her to throw her heavy. There's a heavy. I think you can, you can, um, what you call it, counter it quickly. Already had a special two though, so I go ahead and get my special, my special two unblockable charges. Do it. I'm already at a special two. I hold off here. If we go now, I'll just wait out her special one. And there she throws the grizzly bear. It's a very cool animation. And now I'm ready again. Just have to, uh, have to get her into into a blocking stance. So of course I'm dancing around. Finally she starts blocking, and here it is again, another one. This time I sort of see the opening and so I go ahead and throw another one really quick and that's it. And so, sorry, I feel like my frames are, are not very uh, not very uh, clear here, but, um, or they're a little jumpy, but yeah, the fight went really well. It's always a little tricky for me to decide whether to counter the SP2 with another SP2 really quick. I'm always a little worried that my unblockable is going to run out or they will counter me or it's not going to hit it because I'll be out of range. And so, yeah, I sort of slow played it there, which I feel like is always the best in war. I mean, if you lose on time because you're tied, I mean, it's just that's the way it is. It's better than giving deaths, um, better than not being tied, I guess. So this fight I've done a lot. This is, of course, the future Ant-Man fight, which is straightforward. I feel like I've done this fight so many times that it's like one of these fights where i hope i'm good at it I have eight seconds left on my ps1 boost it didn't really matter because i have to use another ps1 boost anyway but that's something about me wanting to go charging in and so of course i wait out the first um armor and i'm going to get my pierces up because then he can't form any more armors and then it's just basically as usual gain to an sp2 which i do pretty quick here I have to make sure i have enough cosmic charges which 
I wait around a lot and now I do and here it comes big sp2 and already at another sp2 see there I was like running in to throw it but of course it was too late we got Katso with me watching it so here I'm a little worried because I'm close to an sp3 and so I'm trying to uh, bait him into blocking <laughs> and then he does but of course it pushes me to an sp3 so that's not very good because an sp3 just does not do much damage and so fine i throw it and i know i'll have some power back from the boost which i do but only a bar of power which is not as good as usual and so now i'm just building up to my second bar of power again i don't know why i throw the sp1 here I, maybe i thought it might kill him uh, it's like one of those mysteries great mysteries of the world when sometimes you're in a war fight and you don't, <laughs> don't really know what you're doing because everything's so happening so quick so trying to stay cool and collected um making sure i keep enough pierces up it happened to me once when my pierces fell off and i took so much bleed damage and here i can just finish it off with my relic and that's that and so another good fight and yeah if i was interesting it usually usually i feel like i do better i'm quicker um, but the SP3 sort of messed that up. Okay, now comes the two really, really, really cool fights in this war. These are both Havoc Cheese fights. And so so this one, my plan is to, um, he's an attack tactic, but Havoc is a, no, he's a defense tactic, but Havoc is a attack tactic, which means every time I parry him, I gain a prowess, which then will nullify his indestructible boost. I put on a PS1 boost, so when he gains armor on this node, he gives me a shock. I'm highly energy resistant because I'm Havoc. And that means it doesn't do too much damage, but what it does is it puts lots and lots and lots of my plasma charges on him. So I fire my SP1, that allows me some, um, some, what do you call it? it? Just allows me to increase the rate of my plasma charges on myself. And then once I get to 10, he starts getting them. But you can just see, I have the shock on me. Look how quickly they are growing. Like, you know, basically instantly he's almost at 10. Hit him again, more shock. Fire my SP1. More quick, uh, more quick energy. I'm faltered, so I'm always trying to pay attention to that side. So do one hit. And it's a little bit of a scary fight just because... I don't know, I feel like his power gain's scary, he's scary, his falter, and you know, the uh, the plasma charges are blowing up on him, but they're not doing incredible amounts of damage. And so, and then I'm trying to make sure I always have enough uh, for the indestructible. Here I eat an SP2, I don't eat it, I block it, but still a little scary. Throw my SP1 again, trying to get everything working quickly. I actually don't know if I should have kept on throwing SP1s. I feel like they, um, yeah, I feel like they're not needed once I get to 10 charges because everything is gaining quickly. So maybe I should have been better throwing an SP2, maybe doing some mammoth damage. But whatever the reason, you can see, again, this plasma charges are just growing so quick and falling off so quick. Again, I push him to another SP2, but try to parry that as much as possible. And yeah, interesting fight. I think, I think a big time SP3 might have been in order. Just let his shocks keep on shocking him and then um and then throwing the sp3 for insane damage because i think about this fight is it's working but it's taking a long time yeah he's losing health and and yeah you know, i got plenty of shocks off me i'm i think they're doing less damage than i'm healing or it's close and so they're not really affecting me too much but um yeah, he's gained so many indestructible charges oops and there i got hit not so good and somehow i dodged the sp2 now he's got an indestructible charge on him. So this also is becoming an issue. I parry enough that I get in uh, the plasma, not the plasma, the prowess on him, on me. So there I had to falter again too. So just a long, slow fight. I never really was worried. I just sort of stuck to the plan, but the plan was scary. And so, so here it is just again, he's at 54% health. So, I mean, actually starting to worry about time here. I'm down to two minutes and 28 seconds left. And <laughs> yeah, so this is supposed to become as much as a time concern as it is a, uh, uh, like anything else. And so it, once again, I don't know how I dex that very lucky. I mean, Havoc is immune to incinerate. So if I get hit, not great, but at least I'm not incinerated. Um, now things feel like they're speeding up a little bit. Got more plasma detonates. Um, have yeah have um 
I don't have the shock on me, so I guess I hit him to get back the shock on me. Yes, that's a strange game you're playing. I'm not as worried about the SP2s. They don't seem like they're doing crazy damage, so I just sort of continue to eat those. It's all right. They do some damage, but it seems okay. More plasma detonates. He's about to go uh, get really lucky because he put the fault on me, but yeah, I think I was just hitting to his block, and the first one missed, and I just hit to his block. Then down now at 18%. I finally feel like this light in the tunnel. I feel like this fight was going so slow, and then all of a sudden now it seems like it's starting to speed up. Um, so... 6% and then boom, he dies. And maybe it's the assassins, but I think I have like four or three points in assassins. So that might help a lot towards the end of this fight. But anyway, it's a, it's a long, slow, interesting fight. Um, yeah, I don't know. I have to ask Manuel if the SP3 is worth it or not. It might have been, to be honest, just to move the fight along a little quicker. Um, it works if it does big damage. And I think once I get to 10 plasma charges, there's no reason to keep on using my SP1, I think, but I could be totally wrong. Uh, someone for Loki chat suggested I, um, I what you call it, oh, use a heavy attack because then you put that uh, feedback on and they take a lot of damage um, based on the plasma charges. And so maybe that would have been an important step too. Um, okay. Then, uh, yes, now the last fight. Another cheese fight. Hooray. <laughs> As a Swiss man, love the cheese. Uh, this is the same type of fight. Um, I am going to put on an indestructible boost. Uh, incinerate doesn't affect me. Shock gives me extra charges. And I think when the cold snaps on me too, because that's energy damage, it also helps me like increase my plasmas. And so in some ways... I think this fight may be easier. The super scroll one was not easy. I feel like it's a long fight. Uh, use a couple more potions, get myself back up to full health, and as usual, throw in the power star one boost. Um, I definitely, uh, definitely didn't you do the last fight quick enough to save a power star one. Um, it's a pretty long fight. I think it's like three minutes and 37 seconds, which is an eternity in a war fight. Um, so he's ranked two, I'm ranked two great we're all ranked two so here we go <laughs> fight away and so um always worried about him uh, of course shrugging off any debuff um and i sort of just get out of the way but i already got the armor break on me so fine and i do have the cold snap but again cold snaps don't really hurt me too much uh he's super super high energy resistance he does get to an sp2 pretty quick i'm indestructible side to side not to care. I'd rather just push him to an SP3, except the cold snap. You can see I got bunches of shocks on me. But you can see, boy, he's just melting like crazy. I mean, it's basically like every two seconds he's taking a a, a um a plasma detonate, and so so that seems good. <laughs> so anyway, um, I guess of course get smashed by the SP3, but it doesn't hurt me because I got the indestructible, which is great. And now. There, I missed the parry, but you can see it's ticking for about 558 points or so. Um, I'm what you call healing about half that, so it's not bad. Uh, there he throws the SP1, fine, I counteract with him. But yeah, again, a really interesting fight, this cheese fight. And again, sorry that's so jumpy, just, yeah, I don't know what's happening with my video. Anyway, he's got another SP3, so I'm going to tank my second one. It's at 30%. It means I can tank one more. Uh, I feel fairly confident that I'm going to be okay. Um, yeah, it's just it's one of these fights. Whenever you use this method when you play on tanking SP3s, you just can't get hit because obviously then you lose the ability to tank them. And so definitely a lot of pressure there. There's the, uh, what you call it, the plasma detonate. And yeah, you can see it's just really melting them quickly. I think it's at 7,000 points, a lot of points for those. Um, and he never really goes indestructible. I managed to keep my prowesses up quite well. And there you have it, my fifth solo against the best alliance in the world, GT40. And so, yeah, this is good. It was a fun, fun war for me. I really like my crazy fights. Um, unfortunately, yeah, we sort of, um, we definitely, I would say, um, definitely didn't play well we had a lot of deaths they had nine or ten which is good i mean it's a solid defense with nine or ten i feel like we always have a chance to win um but we ended up with like 40 i think after a while there's a few fights that got us that that just really shut us down like the cgr fight i know i think a few uh i think a few other 
our other our other battle groups didn't do so well against it and so i think we use this more as a training ground this fight just because this war just because there were some good hard fights to test out some theories on so anyway we're one and one and the war season is in full swing and so war three will be coming up soon and i'll certainly be there with another video hope you enjoyed these war fights and i will see you again very soon in another video take care everyone bye bye Katso says bye too. There's Katso. Hello, she says. <laughs> bye bye again. <laughs>